BuzzFeed, known most commonly across the internet for being, well, BuzzFeed. And today I thought, what better thing to utilize BuzzFeed for than its amazing quizzes? And that is literally what today's video is about. So let's, I, I don't know how to make this funny. Let's just go. You can now take BuzzFeed quizzes in real time with your friends. You're welcome. Nobody wanted this. Nobody wants this. Do you have a hidden psychic power you're not fully aware of? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find if I am actually, uh, important. What's your favorite thing to do when you're alone? Uh, none of these. It's gaming, mainly. But I, I guess listening to music. Choose a, choose a photo. Uh, we have flowers, a library, uh, cooking, hiking, I think, a rave, and then a drug trip. That is literally a drug trip. Um, I'm gonna go with the rave. I don't know how that proves that I have a psychic power, but sure. Pick your favorite movie genre. Documentary, romance, animation, musical, indie, horror slash thriller. Again, none of these. My favorite movie genre is action. So, animation comes in a close second, I guess. Pick your favorite music genre. Uh, pop. Because my music taste is so varied that I don't have a one favorite genre. Pick your favorite animal. Well, that's obvious. And lastly, what's your zodiac sign? Look at me. I'm a Pisces. Cla- Cla- <laughs> Claire audience. Is that how that's said? Means clear hearing. You get special insight through words, sounds, and musics heard only in your mind. You're likely to be sensitive to the noises around you, and you have a deep connection to music. You're naturally gifted at audi auditory facilities like music singing and public speaking. I mean, I'm a YouTuber. I, I, I don't... Sure. We know how long you've known your BFF based on this quiz. Hmm. I don't think you will. But let's find out. Have you met your BFF's family? So Are we talking in real life? I am family. That makes more sense. Do you know their recent and previous crushes? Uh, where's just the yes option? So I guess most of them. Would you have a hard time buying an outfit for them? I thought that said something else then. Uh, not really. Hoodies. <laughs> Do you know what to give them as a birthday present? Uh, most of the time. Because I'm great. How do you greet your BFF? Um, none of these. Because we live far away from each other. So, other? Do you call your BFF when you have a bad day? Um, probably not. Do you know your BFF's address, birthday, and middle name? I only know some of these. Well, that's fucking incorrect. You probably met them in school or even kindergarten and stayed in touch ever since. That's impressive because long-term relationships are tough to maintain. Hear that, Ludo? We've known each other since fucking kindergarten. We don't even have kindergarten in this country. 
We can actually guess your zodiac sign based on the cake you bake. Are you, Are you sure, sure about, that? about that? Firstly, what occasion is the cake for? Probably just for fun. I like baking. What flavor is the cake? Ooh, now that's difficult, because vanilla is god tier. Red velvet, also god tier. But I usually make vanilla because it's the easiest thing to make alone. How many layers will the cake be? Usually two. Because, again, easiest to do. What type of frosting? I usually use buttercream. Again, it's cheap and easy. Pick a topping. Sprinkles, cherries, edible flowers, or ice cream. Uh, sprinkles. Although ice cream cake is also god tier. Pick another topping. Chocolate, gummy bears, or ca candles are not toppings. You can't eat candles, Buzzfeed. That wax isn't edible. <laughs> But if I already had sprinkles on that, I'd put... I'd put gummy bears, actually. Chocolate's good, but gummy bears on a vanilla cake? Mwah. Beautiful. Finally, who are you sharing it with? Um, probably my family, because they'll eat it anyway. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius? You are so fucking wrong. Brian. Brian, my dude. Millennials would have no problem getting 2020. Oh dear, we don't talk about 2020. Uh, on these on this 90s kids quiz, but I would be impressed if a Gen Z got 10 out of 20. You e you either you you either you know the f whole. That is not proper English. What Britney Spears music video is this scene from? I do recognize it. I very much do recognize it. But I haven't listened to Britney Spears in a very long time. She kind of died out. Poor girl. Her music was very good, though, I will admit. I'm going to guess Baby one more time. What can I say? I'm just intelligent. What is the name of this Janet Jackson album? I have never heard of Janet Jackson. I think I'm a little too young for that. So I'm going to have to take a wild guess at Together Again. Nah. Didn't think I'd get that. The Velvet Rope. We'll admit that is a cool album name. What fast food chain sold Beanie Babies as part of a promotion? Damn. I used to collect these. I have a massive collection of these guys. Taco Bell, Burger King, or McDonald's? Taco Bell is very rare in the UK. Uh, there's only one or two in like a few major cities. There isn't one near me, that's for sure. Um, I don't remember Burger King ever selling them. So I think it's between McDonald's and Taco Bell. But then again, I never remember Taco Bell ever being one to do toys. So I'm going to say McDonald's. McDonald's! Mwah. You you have my heart. What is the name of these drinks? Oh, I recognize those tops anywhere. I had a love-hate relationship with these things. Cool Bursts, Squeeze It, or Quenches. I don't remember what they were called. I don't think it's Cool Bursts. And if it is, I'm going to be very upset. I used to have a love-hate relationship with these things. I'm going to go with Squeeze It. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Who is this? Poppy Popsicle Stick, Stick Stickly, or Twiggy Wiggly? <laughs> Twiggy Wiggly. I could not make this shit up if you tried. Um, This is a thing I don't recognize. 
So again, I think this is before my time. It does look very like 90s. Like that background just looks gives me like a 90s feel. I'm going to go with Twiggy Wiggly. Damn it. Stick Stickly. Why? Twiggy Wiggly is such a better name. What is the name of this book series that constantly ran commercials? That is definitely from the 90s. Look at that quality. Time Life, The Animal World Around Us, Nat Geo Kids, Zoo Books. Nat Geo Kids? Zoo Books. Yeah, definitely before my time. Look at the 90s on that. <laughs> Which of these actors did not star in Dawson's Creek? Again, probably before my time. Also might not have even aired in the UK. I am not sure. Jennifer Love Hewitt, Michelle Williams, <laughs> Busy Phillips? Is that actually a person's name? I'm going to go with Michelle Williams. Because that's the only name I recognize. Pizza Head was the commercial mascot for what pizza chain? Ooh. Pizza Hut, Papa John's Pizza, or Domino's? I don't think Domino's have ever had a mascot. Neither did... Neither have Papa John's... I'm gonna say Pizza Hut. Yes. I thought so. Pizza Hut is definitely the type of restaurant chain to have a mascot. Lil Kim who wore this iconic outfit to what award show? I mean, that's definitely iconic. Good God. Grammys, Blockbuster Entertainment Awards, MTV VMAs. Ooh. I don't watch a lot of these. I'm going to say MTV. Yes. MTV was a very obscure channel from what I remember. What Blink 182 music video is this scene from? They are naked. They are they are very much naked. Oh boy. Damn it, what's my age again? All the small things. I only know that one. What's my age again? That kind of makes sense. What is the name of this toy? Oh my god! It's a fucking Furby. I had the pink version of this when I was a kid. And it used to turn itself on in the box in my wardrobe. These things were fucking demonic. Cute. But demonic. What boy band is this? LFO, 98 Degrees, O-Town. Again, no idea. Before my time. 98 Degrees. Music before my time is very difficult for me to remember. Um, Seal's Kiss from a Rose was used in what Batman movie? Batman and Robin, Batman Forever, Batman Returns. I remember Batman Returns a little bit. I remember Batman and Robin. I don't remember Batman Forever. Which is odd. Although I'm more of a Marvel fan than a DC fan, so that would explain a lot. I'm gonna say Batman Returns. Batman Forever. That's probably why I don't remember it. <laughs> Which of these is a real lyric in the Bagel Bites jingle? Oh, Bagel Bites. We don't have these in the UK. Uh, at least not to my knowledge. There's probably um, like a UK version that I've just never seen. But like, we don't have like American style Bagel Bites in the UK. So I've never had Bagel Bites, and I've never seen the advertisement for it. Um, there's nothing like pizza except for Pizza Bagel Bites. Oh, whoa, you've never had anything like pizza on it? When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. I'm gonna go with the bottom one. Damn it. It was between those two. This was the logo for what? It's AIM? AIM? 
As in, like, the Marvel AIM Corporation? <laughs> uh... Modoc, is that you? I think it's the Yellow Pages. I don't remember Yahoo Chat. Because nobody fucking uses Yahoo. AIM? What the fuck is AIM? You don't know, no, I need to look this up. What is AIM? AIM is a sub-market of the London Stock Exchange that was launched on 19th of June 1995 as a replacement to the previous unlisted securities market that had been in operation since 1980. It's the fucking London Stock Exchange? This is a UK thing? You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Modoc is British, confirmed. Before starring on Keenan and Kel, Keenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell saw on a what TV show together. Again, very 90s look. Probably was not broadcast in the UK. Because I don't remember ever seeing this. Roundhouse, all that. The Secret World of Alex Mack. I only recognise Roundhouse. Nope. Which of these video game consoles did not exist in the 90s? Oh, if I get this wrong, I'm going to be so upset with myself. Nintendo 64, Xbox, PlayStation. Did not exist in the 90s. Well, the Nintendo 64 definitely did. Because it did not come out in the 2000s. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it did. It might have come out in the early 2000s. I doubt it. I was born in 2002. So, I think the Nintendo 64 was out before I was born. Therefore, I do not think it's the Nintendo 64. I cannot remember when the first ever original Xbox came out. Neither can I remember when the first PlayStation came out. So I think it's between Xbox and PlayStation. Six and a half hours later. No, no, the Nintendo 64 was definitely earlier than both of these. Two thousand years later. So that leaves us with Xbox and PlayStation. So it's just a battle of which one came out earlier. And I think the Xbox came out earlier. One eternity later. I'm probably so wrong, and I'm going to be very upset with myself. I am correct! All my logicking was for everything. As a proud member of the gaming community, I would like to say thank you to my mom and my dad. And my viewers for allowing me to get this question right. Okay, moving on. What TLC music video is this scene from? No scrubs. Damn it, it's the only one I recognized. Which statement is true about the talk boy? Oh! Oh, damn. Would you look at that? Mmm. Wow. Crisp, ancient technology quality uh it was originally a prop created for home alone 2 it was a toy that was originally created in the early 80s but didn't become, co bleh, become popular until it was used in home alone 2 it was used by kevin in both home alone and home alone 2 i have seen every single home alone home alone 2 was great home alone 2 and 3 home alone 1 2 and 3 uh mwah, great uh the others after that are a bit meh. I'm, I'm leaning more towards it was a toy in the 80s, but it didn't become popular until Home Alone 2. It was originally a prop created for Home Alone 2. Damn it! It does very much look like a 90s toy, though. Like, look at that. It has the old, um... Old, like... MP3, Sony Walkman, almost like a uh, video camera vibe, which is pretty, pretty dank. And finally, what is the name of the album that was featured in this commercial? Ooh. The Ethereal Moments, Pure Mood, Celestial Awakenings. I have no idea. That is... Look at the 90s quality on that. Um, Pure Moods. 
That was a fucking guess. Oof. I got it. I didn't even get 10. Okay, by the looks of your results, you're most definitely a Gen Zer who tried to take this 90s kids quiz. While this test was on the easier side, you would have had to have been a 90s kid to get most of these right. Yeah, definitely. I mean, look at that. That's, that's some 90s shit right there. And there you have it. That was some BuzzFeed quizzes. This video probably wasn't entertaining in the slightest. But, you know, I thought it'd be fun to do because BuzzFeed is BuzzFeed. Woohoo! Um, if you'd like me to take more quizzes in the future, or maybe just even some more BuzzFeed quizzes in general, uh, feel free to leave a comment and tell me what quizzes you want to see me do. There's plenty of websites out there where you can do quizzes very similar to BuzzFeed. Um, so if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please, please leave a like. Um, I'm begging. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you all next time. Gareth Sherald.